Getting rid of the tree farm, tree farm, tree farm. Getting rid of the tree farm. This is how it goes. Shoopy snow. <laughs> I really, really wish that uh, springtime comes rather sooner than later. <laughs> Yes, hello everyone, welcome back to Terraform Craft with me, Bone Doll. Terraform Doll. Cat Doll, you know. The man in the green suit. Uh huh. Red eyes. Those I think I need to clear out too. This just seemed funny to me. Uh, I don't know. There were some glitches while these uh, birches were. No. Aspens were growing and. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they just look cute. Cute. Yes, but, 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 but yes, I'm gonna get, get rid of the tree farm now and make it a bit larger around this area mm. here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna expand it somewhere in there and uh, perhaps that way too. But uh, I'm gonna keep it behind the move in here so that uh, I don't see it as much as I do now. <laughs> yes. Where are you? I can hear you, there is a rat! It patters. Where are you? Nothing in here. She should not attract rats. This is neither, because this is not actually food. This is salt. Oh! Toast pests! They're going to give me so much trouble, I know. Is it in there? Where is the rat? I heard that they despawn quite fast, so... Was it one and a half minutes before they disappear? So I, I suppose that it is gone now. Of all the things that could, could be implemented into a game. You put in rats? Seriously? <laughs> I tried to say, please, no. But yeah, we've got the rats now. Great. Do you remember <clears throat> uh, when the aqueducts came into the ga game? Yes. And I asked you if I should cheat or not. And I decided not to. Yes. Well, a bit later, uh, I went and check it, checked out the surroundings. Yes, I, I, I think I made an episode out of it and everything. <laughs> and yet, I did not do a very good job. Because, um, yes, this is now something that you need to learn about me. I don't cheat very easily. Uh, because I love the game. I, I have absolutely no reasons to cheat. Nor do I have any reasons to lie to you. Because why should I lie to you? You are my viewers. If I lose your trust, I will lose basically the whole hobby of making videos to YouTube. The content does not come first. Me having fun comes first. Then comes the audience watching. But yes, <laughs> there is actually a small pond in here, and it's relatively close to my home. So when we are talking, when we are talking about the aqueduct, I can actually pull this one into my house area quite easily and this is on y level 71 so basically if we go back to the <coughs> farm area but yeah we can actually take it here and i'm planning on removing this <laughs> or sh uh, at least reshaping this area too making it farmland now that we can take the aqueducts and we can use it easily so yeah, I'm uh, before the, or when the spring comes and it is time to plant our crops, uh, I will actually bring in the aqueduct from there and use it like I think it should be used. Uh, the aim for me is that it actually drops one spot of water here and I can make farmland uh, uh, over it. And depending on the crops and their well, those values that they need for water is how I'm going to place them so I will try to master the um, crop game the hydration game that uh, is now a crucial part of this game one of the crucial parts of course man I love it
except for the rats. And I did actually find out uh, that I've been behaving badly against animals because I found three pieces of rennet and apparently two buckets of milk and one rennet makes two buckets of curdled milk and we need three. <laughs> yes, we should be able to make that cheddar, I think. Let's see. So, first of all, we need to uh, I brought in an empty aspen barrel, so, so we need six buckets of this one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. And then we make that curdled milk. Milk, 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 yes. And this will take some time, four hours. And after we, are, we have gotten that, uh, we get the milk curd by using the cheesecloth. So why won't we make this? <laughs> cheesecloth! Yes. And I think uh, it was like this. Yes. Ooh, so we are going to make... Apparently these have uses or something like that. I have absolutely no idea. But it has to be good, so let's wait for this. Yes, there we go. And then we just open this. One per 1000 makes... Yeah, so we place six of these in, in here. And now we actually have a use for the wool. <laughs> and how long does this take then? And this will take an hour. Or a minute. Well, however you want to say it. This is some interesting content. Watching the time go by. Yes. That is how we get old. We watch time go by. Aha, here we go. <laughs> yes, and now we have milk curd. And now I think what we do is we... Oops. Uh, we take 12 of this. 12. Yes. And then we... Make cheddar cheese wheel. <gasps> and now... Hop and cheese cheese yet. <laughs> Dairy, how much do we get from one? Hmm. Apparently we cannot eat a whole block of cheese. We need to. Yes. Cheddar cheese will. Your other option is to make wet cheeses. These are made by seeing the... You can make... Uh-huh. Oh, so do I just place it as, uh, like a cake? I think so. And then, we <laughs> and then we slice it with a knife. Oh! So this is basically the reason that you. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna try starting to understand it now. But I, what I will do is this. Uh, yeah. So the cheese cellars, cellars. Yeah, they are totally a thing in here. Uh, yes. But because um, I'm not that worried about the time with this. <laughs> it's six months and 13 days, so this cheese should last quite a bit, I think, without aging it. So, so yeah, I think I'm going to be quite fine with this cheese here. Especially when I get to make some bread. <laughs> uh, the only thing that I need is the bees. And we are not getting into that yet. Yeah, there's something that I'll take care of at that later. One day, but not today. Yeah, when it comes to building, um, I don't consider myself a builder, actually. <laughs> uh, neither do I consider myself a redstoner, which apparently is a thing. I am not a fighter either. <laughs> but when it comes to building, um, I kind of well, like to do stuff while we are getting some maple bl uh, blanks, blocks, locks, yes. Uh, I kind of think about the building in a way that, um, yeah, a great builder say they take influences from other builders, of course, and they enhance it, they try to uh, they do research and find out ways to make stuff. Uh, for example, B Dubs, uh, which, uh, whom I adore a lot. He's a terrific builder, like we all know. Uh, I know that he's a professional. Uh, uh, he's been doing, actually, some houseworking and such 
uh, houseworking. Well, building. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, it takes research and it takes uh, taking influences from other players and such. And uh, I've never actually been that keen into coping things that people do. I try to make myself uh, uh, or make the pills look like bone dough. I'm not sure. I don't think that my style is a style. <laughs> yeah, because uh, most of it is borrowed anyway. I know support here, yes. But uh, I kind of think of the building process that uh, yeah, I do take influences from some for some things, but uh, mainly when I'm building, I just want to make the builds look like uh, look and please my eye. And this solution here. Does not please my eye, <laughs> and I will leave it as a reminder of how terrible I am in a building. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I wanted some uh, natural light in here because of the mob rule. Yeah, you know the mob rule is that there needs to be light level one on a block so that we don't get any extra creepers or zombies or skellywellies in our basement. Or base. So yeah, um, this is what I'm doing here, and uh, yeah, it is starting to look like something. What thing? Uh, I I don't actually know, but something. Maybe some wood in. No wood in there because it will burn, and then my house is once again raining with snow. All right. <laughs> Come to think of it, actually, we I'm in this little shack in here because we actually need to do the planting stuff now. Believe it or not, because it is, like I said, it is springtime. And I did notice something. Uh, uh, the seeds are still in the chest back, in the back. Yeah. But I did notice something. And, uh, for example, rye. Rye basically grows everywhere. Yeah. So what I can do is I can actually uh, grow rye all around the <laughs> year, I think. And now I totally forgot to... See the nutrition value. Also, it needs to be less than 85. That's, that should be clear. Right? Maybe if we use this field for the for the rye. This only. If we do it like this, here we. Yeah, now it is. So it needs to be less than 85, I think. So this should be good. Uh, what we are going to do, we are going to. Uh, I have this now. <laughs> yes. So what we are going to do is like this. Um, up, 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 up. Yes. And we are going to place something in here to prevent the, the or water lock to block here. Well, do we have anything that we can use to water lock? But yeah, right. We will definitely grow that all over the year from now on. Yeah. Another super food. That I should have known about, because it is quite obvious, but garlics are also something that grows all the time. And I'm gonna make my gar uh, garlic field up there. So, let's get the garlic next. Minus 20 to 18, so basically, <laughs> this is the only thing that we cannot uh, grow during the summertime, I think. <laughs> I'm not quite sure, I think. Yeah, and I did uh, start to doing the pipeline working in here, so then... Aqueducts are coming from the pond uh, to this spot in here, and uh, too high, so it needs to be less than 75, which is actually. Ooh. In this row here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more rows to here, I think. Alright, what's the deal with the onions? 25 to 90. Yeah, so this would be my garlic and onion field, I think. And you should be able to grow already. Um, because um, it is already early spring. And uh, the temperatures are actually average temperatures minus zero. So I can hear a fish. Food! Ha ha! Tactical mining. <laughs> Let's eat some sushi. And yes, plenty onions here. Onion. Yeah, this is it. This will be the future of 
onion slash garlic fill up here. Yeah, I will, I'm not sure if this will last already or not. I really do hope that they... Yeah, that is uh, too early. It's cute that it shows it that, that fast, actually. And using a hoe on this professional move. No, skies on this professional move. Free, uh, no, not time for oh yet. Wheat. Aha! Every single piece of wheat will be planted right now. And I, I think wheat. Um, phosphorus hydration 25 to 100. So basically, if there is water, there is wheat. And uh, I think I'm going to make it, make it right here. Now my idea was to bring in the aqueduct down here. And I totally forgot it. <laughs> but I think um, on a lower field here I can actually use this too. It should be good. And I'm going to use the aqueduct and bring water to the smithery area there too. So yeah. Uh, it's going to be a long tubular thing there. <laughs> tubular. Oh, that's a beautiful word. Tubular. My, oh yes, we are ready for the barley too. Only 21, this is bad because I would like to have some more beer. Yeah, 75. So basically this row here is not good, but this is. Oh, it is very dark. Time to sleep. It seems that the snow is actually melting, which is very nice. <laughs> uh, that is something that I have been waiting for a long, long time. Where were we? Yes. Onions, not just yet. Uh, Garrets, are you super food? No, you are not super food. Tomatoes. Not super food. Carrots. Not super food. Oat. I did you check this out. Not super food. Pumpkin. Not super food. All right. So I will have to wait with the with the rest of this stuff in here because apparently this. Oh, but potatoes! You are going down. Aha! And potatoes are actually good good because I'm going to feed the dogs with the potatoes. I know that they eat potatoes. I've given them potatoes earlier, and they were very happy about the potatoes. And what was the hydration value of the potato? Fifty. Wow! Well, oh, you are cool. All right. So the trick. How to do this is like this. It is now waterlogged and it, it will never freeze. <laughs> really, so I think what I'm going to do is I, I'm going to name these barrels like this. There is the minus box. This is the superfood box. Yes, the great onions and such garlics and whatever grows over the year. That would be rye and garlic from now on, I think. And I try to find something else too. Uh, at zero, I think we, I think we were supposed to add tomatoes into the zero basket. Yes. So into the basket you go. Ah, uh, those are carrots. Yes, carrots. What do we feel about you? Uh, you are on plus five basket ten. Yeah. So in a couple of days, I can. Keep on planting stuff in here and under. Now, hummus. Now, there's something that we have been doing during the winter too, and that is making the fertilizers. Fertilizer. Uh -huh. And we are now testing that stuff. So, what I want to do is I want to boost the boost. Uh, the, 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 let me say, I would love to say, right, yes. I want to boost the rice, so I wonder what it is that it takes. We shall see it from the good book. Ah, the good book is source of everything very nice and helpful. Where did I actually plant it? Dead potatoes. Why? Is it too cold for you? Or are you, ah, too far from the water, I think. Where did I, ah, yes, the rice is in here. So uh, let's borrow one of these. And what do we think about nutrition values? Phosphorus. And we get phosphorus from bone meal, wood ash. Yeah. We are going with food, food ash. <laughs> wood ash with the phosphorus. So. Oh, free. I'm just spamming this here. 
<laughs> because uh, making torches and wood actually is actually so simple that uh, yeah, I can I can do this, and I really want to rye grow as fast as possible. So when we are looking at it with a hoe, it does not give any more information. Yeah, but, but, but she should be growing quite nicely now. Oh, and this uh, item barrels, these are actually a work of uh, serious creeper. And I love how they actually use the textures from the tree that they are made of. So if you make one out of aspen, it is colored like aspen. And thus, it gives you a huge variety of colors. Very nice touch. I uh, love it. And we came here for what? Totally forgot. Ah, yes, I want a. From my lumber and planks. Uh, let's take more, two more of these and get to fertilizer. A bit closer to the fields. And I'm uh, gonna. Wood ash. You can rest in here. <laughs> so I put a maple item barrel inside a maple item barrel. Yes. Now let's take this stuff back out with us. Do some more of this. I think this is already uh, already soon. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> totally fell into the thing. Yes, and we can. While waiting for the days to get get warmer. Let's continue with the project here. So, yes, we need to move the move this one. So, because these were, were apparently like too high uh, or low in that we water. So, what we learn from this is that we want it actually here. Totally forgot what I was saying. Ah, yes, let's see. <laughs> Douglas Per Adam Street trap door here. And right now. Yeah, this is uh, the rifle, right and I can expand it there if I want to, need to, and I can use the aqueducts too. So maybe I should start thinking about where to pull it from. Uh, I also, to, like I said, I want to ma make it look like it is not just um, floating in air. <laughs> so we, uh, my idea was that something like this. I'm going to make you. Normal water aqueducts out of uh, the quartzite aqueduct, aqueduct blah, 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 thing. And what we are going to do now is we need to get up there somehow and we need to very fastly go through the field because I hope that this last uh, because if it happens, <laughs> flush the seeds from the field, I will have to replant them. Uh, that's something I really don't want to do. How about you stay in there? Ah, now. Um, let's take it from here, I think. Straight to the house. Yeah. Should be quite... Uh, oh, or should we make it... I'm gonna make a bit of an... Uh, yes. Bit of a turn in here, so I'm gonna... Yo. Know, uh-huh. And now we need to be fast. Because the water is <laughs> hanging on us. Yes, and this, and then, then we head in here. Yes, faster, faster, faster. And it's on slot six. Let's switch it, switch it to that. Yes, faster, faster. <laughs> Do not fail me now. I really should have brought it to a bit more right too, I think. But I think we are quite good with it, yeah. And like that! <laughs> and then... Yeah, it could have been a bit further like that too, but... Now, now this supports the idea of what I, what I had in mind. Originally, so that I would, for example, if I add one one block in here, it will make a fall like that and into a hole. So it waters a certain area around it. 
That was some, something that I was thinking of at start. For the starters, yeah. So we are going to go. Hmm. Tap 3 is actually not in a good place. <laughs> uh, how much? And we only have 9 of this left. We are not going to get it to home safely. Yes. Bad. I need to make more of this. And believe it or not, but I actually ran, ran out of cobblestone. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cannot make bricks without a cobblestone. No. Not snow. Water. <laughs> I want water, not snow. I can hear you. Where are you? Yes. A rat. Where did it go? Oh, there you are. Ah, yes, this is probably not very good. <laughs> because I have to... Yeah, the rotten food items in this container and... This can attract a lot of rats, I think. Because it should be a sealed container. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. Time to continue with the aqueduct thing, and then... But I'm going to, I think I'm going to take it in here and then take a hard lift. And, um, yes. Mm -hmm. This block. Yes. That should be quite good. Um, this is the story. Yeah, we can get, take it from here. It will add a bit of a de detail to you. Ah, yes. They're making the right turn. Yes. No, I really hate the snow. I'm so happy that it smell, smells away. Now. Um, this is the wall. Oh, this is perfect. Ha ha. Yes. Okay, so now I can take it to you. Huh? No. Stupid snow. I'm so tired of it. Luckily, it is going to be summer. And market like this. Uh, ha ha! And then we just let it flow. And break this. And fastly place that in there. And yeah. Well, worried about it, yes. Are you coming? Yeah! And we can drink from this now. <laughs> uh, but what I'm more interested in is throwing the, as I said, uh, throwing the ingots in this and hope that they actually cool down in it. Um, there is actually one more thing that I want to show you because <laughs> this is something that I've been asking for a long time. It's not the rats, though. Um, but what I, I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself a tool. And now I should really remember what the tool is that I needed. Axe, yes, because this is this one is almost broken. <laughs> and uh, as soon as this is workable enough, I have been told that something that I have been waiting for for a long time is finally here. Want to guess what it is? Upset. His punch. Oh, ho, 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 ho. upset. Hit punch. First try. That was actually the first try. <laughs> oh wow! And now we throw this in here. Yeah, and, uh, might need some adjusting. Yeah, because it kind of. Yeah. This is what I wanted, yeah. What is going to happen next is that because it is springtime and I can finally um, plant all the seeds and such, I'm gonna do that. And after I've done that, in the next episode, I think we're going to go and do some exploring. Uh, I need to find saplings, I need to find, uh, for example, the fruit tree saplings, and I need to find some flowers too. I think I could 
gather the flowers from our fields here too because apparently this eustonia uh, eustonia is one of the flowers that you need to, for the bee stuff you know uh, beeswax and such uh, but that is something we will have to come back to in the next episode yeah because this episode is pretty much done and going into that exploring i really wish that uh, i would have some kind of an thing to uh, a way to carry items perhaps some kind of an uh, luggage <laughs>